What's up guys, this is my iPhone 15 Pro and today I'm gonna to show you what's on it. Everything from accessories, the lock screen, the home screen, my favorite apps and widgets for productivity, and even my exact camera settings for high quality photo and video. You're probably watching this video because you want to dial in your own custom layout. So I'm also gonna share with you the reason why I have it set up the way I do. That way you can take those principles and apply it to your own iPhone. Now, before we get into the phone itself, the accessories you use are very important. I'm using a screen protector from Cowtoby. It's a two pack. There's no notch, there's no cutout. It protects my phone. The case I'm using is the Apple Silicon case for the 15 Pro. Minimal, protects your phone, has grip so it's not sliding when you're setting it down anywhere. For the watch, I have the Apple Watch SE. Really good for text messages, for setting reminders, sleep tracking, health. Works great with my iPhone, obviously. And then my Ultra Human Air Ring. This is titanium and it works really well with sleep tracking, a little bit more accurate than the watch. And I don't have to charge it as often because it lasts for up to a week. And I can also get like fitness tracking, health data, and it all syncs up with my Apple Health. Whatever I get from my watch is just all in one place, which is really, really nice. If I need to listen to audio, I have my AirPods Pro. These are typically best for the gym. Or if I'm home, I will use my AirPod Maxes for a little bit higher quality audio. If I need to record any audio with my iPhone, I use the DJI mic. I just have the mic here and then the transmitter will plug into the bottom of the iPhone here with the USB-C. I love using this wireless charger from Apple and then I have the stand from Grove made. Expensive but high quality, durable, looks great with my desk. And then last but not least, if I do need to record any video with my phone, this is a really cool mount from Belkin. Apple sells on their website. You can use it with a tripod. It will also grip onto your computer so you can use it for a podcast or Zoom recording and this is a really nice accessory to get the most out of your iPhone. Okay, so moving into the phone itself, I've customized my action button to ring or silent, and by customize, I left it default because that's what I'm used to using it for. If you guys have any other options that you've liked for the action button, please let me know in the comments because I wanna utilize this feature even more than I am right now. I also have changed my home button to also do a three tap in accessibility features, so it turns grayscale. This helps me just stay more focused when I'm being unproductive. Everything's a little bit less interesting when it's black and white to some extent. And so I use that as a great feature to keep me productive. The top widget is just the date and then I have the time. I got rid of the other widgets because I wasn't using them and it doesn't look as clean with this wallpaper. So this is a waterfall in Iceland. This is Skogafoss, absolutely beautiful. And I think it's a pretty cool wallpaper for the front. If you're interested, I'll link that below. You guys can check it out. And that's pretty much the lock screen. So now with the home screen, I have all my apps kind of categorized in little different pockets. The wallpaper is a custom wallpaper that I designed myself. I love using this for stories as a wallpaper. It kind of reminds me of when you take a screenshot and you have like that blurred outer edge that uses colors from the screenshot itself. That's what I was going for. I'll link that below as well if you're interested. Top widget on the left, Spotify, listen to music all the time. Even though I do have a lot of Apple products, I love Spotify. I think it's superior. Settings, camera, pretty self-explanatory, calculator, health with the activity, showing your fitness level. There's so many different trends that you can use on the health app that I would highly recommend you check out. And then with mail, obviously just for business, it's nice to be able to quickly communicate, having those emails come in. I'm constantly unsubscribing from emails though. It is pretty wild in the inbox. App Store, Safari, love Safari. It can block trackers. You can customize it. I keep it pretty simple. That way I'm not super distracted when I open up the app. Reminders is something I use religiously. Always using reminders. I'll set those and then I can check back and see what I've done that day or need to do that day and then complete them when I'm done. I use notes a ton. It's kind of where I do a lot of my pre-production. So even for this one, we're currently doing the main angle. I've got YouTube videos, shopping lists. I've got everything in my notes. It's awesome. And then for weather, just keep that in a big widget so I can kind of see what's going on. Reykjavik, got a shout out Iceland. Calendar, I use calendar a ton as well. Keep your schedule organized. So woke up this morning, read scriptures, breakfast. Now I'm filming this video. Photos, explanatory. This is my Bible app. I love analytics and tracking things and it has a daily study streak. So I'm currently on my longest streak of 66 days and then maps using that for navigating, which is super cool. One of my favorite apps here at the bottom is the Water Llama app. It sounds silly guys, but again, I love analytics and tracking things. So this is for water. So I actually need to add in my massive jug right here. I've got off screen. I can track water and it's all in there and you can customize 
is, which ones, whether they have electrolytes, caffeine, whatever you need for your water intake goals. Chronometer is a really good macro tracking app. I had maybe a protein shake this morning, shows me my protein, my carbs, everything I need to do, but it's cool. My wife's a nutritionist. She got me on this app and it's great for fitness and health. Then your phone and messages, because that's literally the whole point of having a phone is to call and text people. My sidebar, I don't use a ton, but I do have it available if I want to look at battery levels for all my different devices, fitness level, my tracking for screen time, moving into other apps and widgets, just kind of like a daily verse, which is really cool. And then my ultra human widget, you don't have to go into the app. I can just see, okay, how's my movement? How are my steps doing? Finance, banking, investments. I love Acorns. I don't know if you guys have seen them. It just makes it fun to invest. Mile logger is really cool. If you own a business or you are doing taxes like with an LLC, obviously this is not financial advice, but it is cool to be able to track your miles and be able to put that you can get a tax write off for that. Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, some of my favorite places to eat. Gotta have the rewards program to get points for free food. Again, my wife's a personal trainer, so we use the Playbook app. They've got a ton of different trainers on there who can help give you workout programs. They'll show you how to do it with a video. And then Hiking Project, this is super nice if you're trying to go on hikes and you're trying to navigate where you're going, how close things are. You can download maps, which is really cool. FTF, love watching their stuff for improving as a videographer and a filmmaker. VidLead Studio, that's where I access all of my information for my business. So whether it's new leads, whether I'm doing automations, my website, it's all in there. Notion, I have this app on here and I want to use it more, but I just don't. I think it's intimidating. I, maybe I need templates. I don't know. If you guys use Notion, let me know. I would love to start utilizing that more. And then I do have a drone and a gimbal as a filmmaker and a YouTuber. So I got those apps for the Fly and the Ronin. If I'm editing apps, Lightroom, Canva, if I'm on the go and I want to whip up something or access a project I've already worked on, the Canva app is great. Letterboxd is so cool, guys. If you love movies or cinema, you can go in there and say, ooh, Past Lives is really good. I want to rate this. And so you can rate like review and then you can also see what your friends did so it looks like Parker really liked past lives I still need to watch that imaging edge I can control my camera through this app so I can kind of see what I'm working with I can change settings it's super sick now for the little travel section love flying Delta I've got some favorite uh, hotels I stay at Turo's awesome for renting vehicles parking Google Maps when I want to write reviews I love writing reviews seat geek for events Hall scooters and VMAX these are my electric electric scooter apps so I can see battery percentage, distance, travel. These are awesome. Now Quip is a really cool app. Again, analytics guys. I love looking at those or streaks. This is a smart toothbrush and it syncs with your phone. So you can see, okay, over the last week, how many times you brush your teeth, how well did you brush your teeth it gives you points that you can use to get discounts on new toothbrushes. Ultra Human. Again, guys, this ring is awesome. This is the app it goes with. Unlike Aura, they don't charge monthly so you can get all your data for free, which I think is huge. Shows you when you can drink caffeine if you're into that, when your movement index is, how your sleep and recovery score is. When I was sick, these scores were like at 20. So that was really important for me to be able to see, man, I feel horrible. And it looks like I feel horrible because I'm not sleeping very well. And then there's just a ton of information here. So another thing that I use is focus modes. You may have seen those. So I have personal mode when I'm spending time with my wife or when I'm with friends and I don't want to be distracted. I just have the essentials, which for me, <laughs> include Spotify, the weather, if I'm traveling calendar, like what's up next and maybe a camera. And then if I'm at work, if you set where your work is in maps, when you arrive at work, it will automatically turn on the work focus mode. So I have a studio I go work at. When I show up to work, this turns on and I only have Spotify, I have my steps, weather, notes, reminders, and calendar. So I'm locked in. There's nothing distracting me because it's already pulling up. As for camera settings, I failed to mention the Black Magic camera app. Aside from the settings on your phone, this this is a huge way of getting the highest quality video. You can choose your lenses, the FPS, the shutter. If you know how to shoot manual on your own, this will be huge for getting the most out of your settings. As for actual settings though, you can follow along here. I've got my video at 4K 24 frames. If you're doing stuff for social media or your Marquez Brownlee, then 30 frames per second is what you wanna do. Otherwise, for cinematic looks, 24 is the best. I've got enhanced stabilization on, so this helps like keep things steady when you're shooting handheld. I've turned off HDR video, lock white balance, cinematic. Obviously you're gonna want that at 4K 24. Most compatible, these will be bigger files, but they will be higher quality videos. Photo mode, 
24 megapixels. I turn on Pro Raw and resolution control, and then I'll have Pro Raw Max. Spatial video, I'm not, I don't have Apple Vision Pro. And you guys have been blowing up my channel with views and comments on those videos, so you can check those out if you want to. And then last of all, Apple Pro Res and Pro Res Encoding, you're gonna want that to be log. I preserve all my settings when I go back into my camera app, I don't have to change any of those. And that pretty much sums up what's on my iPhone. If you have any questions about anything I did on my phone or how I customized it, definitely drop a comment below and I'd love to connect with you there. But until then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.